Okay, question two. Um, as usual with these sequences type questions, I like to write out uh, the the terms as much as we know anyway. Um, so it's an arithmetic series. The first term is 9,300. Um, the tenth term, so the second term would be A plus D. The third term would be A plus 2D, A plus 3D, and so on. So the tenth term, uh, the tenth term is A plus 9D. So that's the tenth term. And the tenth term is 3,900. Now, in this question, we've got to, we've got to find the twentieth term. Okay, so we know what A is. We, we know A is 9,300. Um, we, we know what the tenth term is. So we know that, um, we know that A plus 9d equals 3,900. Um, so if we can find the 20th term, if that turns out to be negative, then, then we've answered part A. Let's just stick that in there, and we'll get 9,300 plus 9d equals 3,900. And so 9d equals uh, 3,900 minus 9,300. Um, so 3,900 minus 9,300. That's minus 5,400. And divide that by 9. And that's minus 600. So therefore, Oh, sorry, what am I doing? The difference is, that means the difference is uh, each time are 600 minus 600. Um, so if you want to find the 20th term, I'm going to find the 20th term in this question. That's going to be A plus 19D. Um, so term 20 is A plus 19D which is 9,300 plus 19 times by minus 600. And so let's tie that into calculator, plus 9,300. And I got minus 2,100, minus 2,100. So therefore, the 20th, 20th term is negative. Okay, um, so in, in B, the question is, is talking about the sum of the first n terms. So we're going to need to do the sum form formula um, at some point. So the sum formula uh, is in the formula book. It's n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So I'll need to use that at some point. Um, but this question is asking for the greatest value of uh, s. In other words, when we start adding up these terms, so in, in part a, we realized that the common difference was minus 600. So the terms are going to go like this, 9,300, 8,700, 8,100, and so on. So they're going to keep going. Uh, this will be the tenth term here. So they're going to keep going, um, and then at some point they're going to turn negative. Um, these terms. At some point between, we know it's going to be somewhere between the tenth term and the twentieth term. So if we keep adding on positive terms, then the value of s is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But as soon as we start adding on negative terms, obviously the sum is going to start to decrease. So if we can find at what point here and the, the terms first become negative, then uh, we'll be able to just add up the positive terms. So when we use this sum here, we just want to add up all the positive terms. 
Okay, so let's find out when this when these terms first turn negative. So to do that, we can we can write it like this. We want to find what. So this is the general uh, the general formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. When does this become less than zero? Well, we know our first term is 9,300. We want to find the value of n when we get less than zero. Uh, d is minus 600. Okay, so if we rearrange that, we we'll get n minus 1 uh, is less than um, minus 9300. Uh, divided by minus 600 actually since we've divided by a negative um, should really swap this sign around here and that means m minus 1 um, is going to be greater than 15.5 which means n must be greater than 16.5 so the 16th term the 16th term is positive. Let's write that down. 16th term is positive. Whoops. Um, and the 17th term would be negative. And you could always check that yourself by just substituting it, substituting uh, into this formula here. Um, so if we add up the, the sum of the first 16 terms, that will give us the, the biggest value of s, the greatest value of s, because from then on we're going to start taking away uh, we're going to start taking away numbers when we add up the terms. Uh, so if we put that into this formula that we that we wrote down before, we know we want n equals 16. So I write that here, n equals 16. We're going to substitute into here. Um, we know what a is. We know what d is. So we can just write in our values 16 over 2. We want the sum of the first 16 terms. That's going to be 2 times by uh, 9,300 plus um, 16 minus 1 times by minus 600. And I'm running out of space a bit here, but if you type that into your calculator, you should get seven thousand, sorry, seventy six thousand eight hundred, which would be the maximum. That would be the maximum value of S.